Today, we're talking about the fundamentals of financial accounting as it has to do with each of the four financial statements that you're going to run into. So first, we're going to define what each of those statements are. Next, we're going to go through a simple format for each or structure of each financial statement. And then we'll give a high level view of how they might relate to each other. You can kind of see the interaction amongst each statement. So the first st financial statement that we're going to talk about is the income statement. The next, the statement of retained earnings. The next is the balance sheet. And finally, the statement of cash flows. Okay, so the income statement, also known as a profit and loss statement or PL, has several different names, but that one looks like revenues minus expenses equals net income. Okay, so statement of retained earnings looks like this, and I'm going to write it over here. Beginning balance, and I'm going to abbreviate retained earnings, plus net income for that period. less dividends also for this particular period could be quarterly could be yearly depends on the the statement and this will give us our ending balance of retained earnings Okay, balance sheet, back over here, we have our assets equals liabilities plus shareholders equity or owner's equity. I use them interchangeably. Uh, most textbooks I think have shareholders equity these days. So either way. And finally, the statement of cash flows, which is pluses or minuses in operating activities, pluses or minuses in investing activities, pluses or minuses in financing, activities. This gives us our change in cash. But don't forget, we need to add what our beginning cash balance was. And that will give us our ending cash balance. Now let's take a look at the interaction between them. And again, this is going to be a really high level overview. Uh, I think in future videos, we'll go over the, the specifics of it. But just so you get an idea, right now, our income statement, revenues minus expenses equals net income. Well, this net income is the same as what's going to be plugged in on our statement of retained earnings right here, our net income from this period. So then we are going to have our ending balance of retained earnings, right? So the statement of retained earnings pertains to the balance sheet because these same retained earnings are gonna show up in the shareholder equity portion of our balance sheet. So then we're under assets, 
these assets are also going to include the ending cash balance that we derive from our statement of cash flows.